News First News Line. Hello there, a very good evening and welcome to another edition of Newsline. We're coming to you from our News First studios here in Colombo. Sri Lanka's political sphere has been in turmoil for quite a long time. I'm not speaking about uh, the country's general leadership as a whole, uh, because we all know where that is at this point of time. Uh, but political parties are a very important cog uh, in the wheel of state governance here in Sri Lanka. And political parties much like the entire governance structure of Sri Lanka, is in crisis. Uh, now, out of these political parties, uh, you can take your pick as to which party is more in crisis. Uh, but today, of course, we've got with us uh, the former General Secretary of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party, uh, Dayasiri Chai Sekhar, a parliamentarian, to um, speak to us a little bit about what really happened uh, to the Sri Lanka Freedom Party. Now, a little bit of history, uh, Mr. Jayasekhar, you've, of course, uh, been a part of the United National Party for a long time. Um, <coughs> you started from SLFP. Yes, you started from the SLFP, of course, then United National Party, and um, irreconcilable differences with the leader of the United National Party. Uh, you crossed over to the Sri Lanka Freedom Party. There you were awarded the position of General Secretary in, in quite a short period of time and um, you were performing your duties in that role. And um, the last thing, or the last appearance I remember of you <coughs> representing the Sri Lanka Freedom Party and as the General Secretary of the party uh, was at the Sri Lanka Freedom Party Convention, which was not too long ago, maybe a, a month, month and a half ago maybe. And I remember distinctly at that convention, uh, even parliamentarians or members of the Sri Lanka party, stalwarts of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party, uh, who left and joined the government, uh, individuals like Nimal Siripala de Silva, uh, Mahinda Amaravira, Nimal Siripala de Silva specifically uh, called for unity within the party. And I think those sentiments were echoed throughout all the addresses that were uh, heard at the Sri Lanka Freedom Party. But then, a few weeks later, Mr. Jayasekara, you are removed from the position of General Secretary of the party. So. I mean, it's natural that the people wonder what really is happening inside the Sri Lanka Freedom Party. Let's start off uh, with the interim period. What happened between the time period when you represented the Sri Lanka Freedom Party at the party convention, called for unity within the party, and the day that you were removed from that position? Very short period of time. What happened? Mm, <clears throat> I don't know. Actually, um, after a few days, not, not months, mm -hmm. Uh, I have been removed and I have been sacked uh, and I got a letter at 11 o'clock at night hmm. because on that day, uh, uh, Shalan, I was with him, uh, my, my leader in the par parliament at 4 o'clock, uh, we had a small discussion hmm. and we both together in two, uh, you know, two seats and uh, we... So, what was the content of this discussion if you no, can no, disclose nothing, that? nothing, nothing, just, just had a... So, just a friendly just, conversation? Yes, yes, okay. a friendly conversation and 7 o'clock uh, without knowing me without without informing me uh, as he said they have had a, uh, a polit politburo hmm. uh, which i am uh, one of the uh, uh, members okay i was not invited mm -hmm. and there were some uh, people who were not invited or were not in the polit politburo were in, uh, invited to that uh, meeting they took a decision as uh, the letter sent to the election commission mm -hmm. So, after that now, uh, after the last uh, two, three days back, there was a central committee meeting. In that mm. central committee meeting, I said... So, was it on that, that, was it on <coughs> that specific day that you were removed? No. Yes, on the, on the, on the day. So, you were with the, uh, with the former after president? After three hours of the discussion that we... The cordial had. discussion. <laughs> right. Then you were removed, uh, you know, in the shade of the night. Yes. 11 o'clock, I got a letter, got an email mm. to my son and he showed me, what is this? Uh, there was a... There is a letter uh, that says that you have removed. I was surprised because uh, I haven't get any kind of a, you know, indication. Indication. So that is that. So what <laughs> was your immediate response <coughs> the moment you received this letter? Mm, I had a good nap actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Without thinking about anything, uh, didn't took it to my head, and in uh, in the morning I. Um, met with lawyers mm -hmm. and uh, decided uh, to go to courts and uh, we went to courts, uh, uh, district court and uh, we have asked for engineering order uh, but uh, 
the order was not given, but uh, the acting secretary in that uh, so called uh, meeting uh, was appointed by uh, I think uh, Sarat Tekanayaka from uh, Isa Isa. Uh, he was appointed and he was uh, his appointment was uh, uh, suspended. Right. So, uh, Mr. Now Jai there, is, there is no secretary to the party. So, Mr. Jai Sekar, <coughs> since you were removed as the general secretary of the Sri Lanka Freedom <coughs> Party, have you at any point attempted to contact uh, the former president? No, I didn't. <coughs> You didn't? No, I didn't because uh, I thought because without informing me, without mm. uh, you know, uh, without my knowledge, mm. uh, he has sacked me mm. and uh, I thought uh, it is not uh, suitable to speak to him on the phone or mm. contact him and ask because I got a letter. Mm. So I must act on that. Mm. So that is what I did. Did, did you did you respond to this letter <coughs> that you received suspending you from the no, no, no. position no, no, of no, general no, secretary? No. no, because it it says that uh, in uh, fourteen days I will get a you know all the allegations. Okay, that, okay. Um, I have the done. charge sheet. Charge sheet, and um, they have said in that letter. So I am waiting for the charge sheet now. Right. Uh, so, Mr. Jaisekar, if you don't mind me asking, I know these are very turbulent times, and you might not even have your decisions made yet. But what is the next step for you at least? <clears throat> next is, uh, step is uh, actually I am concentrating on uh, the case uh, in courts. That, mm. is, that is first thing. And second thing is, uh, Sharan, I will never uh, quit from the party. I am mm. going to be in the SLFP and fight for the cause. Mm. Because uh, it, is very, it is one thing is uh, very unfortunate to sack me like that. Mm. It is illegal as I see as a lawyer by profession. Mm. So, I am fighting for my, uh, you know, for your justice. Rights. Yeah, for justice. <laughs> but, Mr. Jayasekar, now let's take a look at the entire country and the situation that we're in right now. Um, from the beginning of this crisis, um, despite whoever the leader it was, uh, initially Gotabe Rajapaksa, and then now uh, Ranil Vikramasinghe, even <laughs> Gotabe Rajapaksa, I remember, called for unity among parties, for all parties to unite so that we can solve this crisis together. Uh, now, I do remember uh, during the time of Mahindra Rajapaksa, uh, when the 30-year war was at its peak almost, um, the entire parliament did unite in uh, passing certain uh, resolutions, passing certain uh, measures that were required to push, um, well, the, the you know, issue of terrorism out of Sri Lanka completely. Uh, but since the crisis began in Sri Lanka, we haven't seen that unity, just calls for unity. Now, my question to you is, how can one person, or a member of the general public, really think that this parliament that is there right now can unite when the parties themselves are in shambles? Yeah, that is politics actually, Shalan, because, um, because of the party uh, in a uh, crisis, uh, every, every party has in a mm. crisis now, you know. In uh, UNP, they had uh, the crisis uh, between Sajit and Ranil and Sajit quit mm. from the party. And JP is also having some issues in, in their uh, party. Mm. But relatively uh, less compared yes, to the others. Yes, 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 less compared to the others. But all the parties are like that, you know, there are so many issues uh, among themselves. Mm. But uh, as you said, uh, it, that is not a problem to uh, get in together and, you know, have a proper plan for the uh, country. Hmm. Um, our party is always there because we are the we are the first party who has uh, I think uh, recommended hmm. to the former president hmm. uh, Gota Biraja Paksa to have a uh, all party conference hmm. and all party government. Okay, and we had a, a proposal for that as well because we we got together all the parties uh, in the opposition and we. Uh, actually, uh, Ryan Lukum Singh um, uh, himself came to uh, came and participated that hmm. Uh, hmm. conference. So now, uh, as a leader, as a uh, you know president of the country, he can summon the same uh, you know uh, all party uh, conference and all party government. He can form. No, but I believe an right. all party conference hmm. was called. The SJB didn't attend. The JVP, the NPP didn't attend. Um, a few. Uh, the TNA, I believe, attended that discussion. It was, was SJB. SJB went there. SJB went. SJB did go. Yes. yes. All right. And uh, 
uh, opposition leader himself went and uh, had a. So <coughs> this was not the initial. This was not the initial conference. This was the more recent <coughs> one. Yes, 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 yes. Right. Okay. So, Mr. Jayasekhar, but now I'm speaking from the point of view of an average citizen in Sri Lanka. Calls are made for unity, but the parties are in shambles. <coughs> no one is going to unite, really, are they? No, no, but we can because. But <coughs> members of in, this parliament. In, in no, in in parties, there are so many issues with you know the hierarchies and you know some uh, individuals they are for their positions, but but uh, parliament now uh, actually when we see the um, the system that we have started, all the committees that we have appointed, mm. 19 committees have been appointed and chairmen are from all the parties. Mm. Uh, opposition and government and mm, all kind mm. of things, uh, but they are their chair in their uh, uh, committee meetings and try to find out some solutions. Mm. <clears throat> that is that is that is uh, ongoing process. But what I'm saying is, um, if the, the my 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 thinking is actually we must go for a 25 year plan, uh, Shalan, because mm. uh, if we can get together and form uh, some committees like you know. For education uh, and uh, agriculture, but Mr. Uh, Jayasekhar, do you see that happening in this parliament? That is that is why I am saying because now we can start that kind of a process because. But do you see that happening <coughs> in this parliament? Like it, according now, you've you've been in politics for quite a long time. You've got very good political acumen. Do you see this parliament uniting within the next? I don't know how long does this parliament have left? Uh, one and a half years. No, 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 no. One and a half, half years. years. Do you think this parliament is going to unite no, in no, one and a half years? No, parliament is not going to unite. But what we can do is, as a government, as a president, mm. he can, what, what I am saying is, he can summon those uh, committees, mm. right, in parliament, mm. put some good uh, intellectuals there, mm. and put all the members from all the parties, mm. the educated members, mm. what I am saying is experienced members. Mm. Uh, so we can get together and uh, find a solution for. Uh, uh, we see, like you know, as I said, uh, ten topics, mm. right? Uh, international affairs and all kind of things. Mm. If we if we s going to start this, initiate mm. this, mm. we can do that without mm. uh, uh, parliament uh, uh, party politics. Without uh, uh, party politics, we can uh, come come and get together for the future of this country. Mm. Nothing else. So you can uh, fight with uh, your your. Uh, the party uh, uh, policies with uh, in, a, in another election, mm. but what I am saying is, if we all can get together and decide in Parliament, because that should be the place, should be the Parliament, because otherwise uh, people won't come, as we said mm. that uh, SJB didn't come and you know uh, yes. NPP didn't come and uh, kind of thing. So, but if we can start that kind of a process, uh, I suggest uh, to the president of this country to start initiate. This uh, initiative, because after that we can uh, see, because if some parties are not going to come, it says it, you can see that hmm. they are not uh, in a position to, you know, uh, give their uh, commitment to the country. Hmm. That is what uh, we can think. So, uh, Mr. Jayasekhar, can you comment on uh, the position that the Sri Lanka Freedom Party would be at at an upcoming election? <coughs> Where would the Sri Lanka Freedom Party be? How do you think the party would fare? Uh, uh, I can't actually comment on that because we are not in a. Uh, uh, no, we are in an election period. Yes, local government election elections period, have been but, announced, but, the, but, but it's postponed indefinitely. Mm. But the problem is, we always, uh, Shalan, we uh, got together with the other uh, so many parties and as alliance, mm. we normally came. Only 1960 election, we came as uh, one party. Mm. And after that, we all got together with all the lefties and you know, uh, progressive parties together, and form uh, alliances and uh, won the election. Mm. Uh, last time also for the uh, local government election, we form a, uh, another alliance. But after a few days, it was uh, smashed by. Uh, <laughs> this was the helicopter alliance. Yes, yes, <laughs> helicopter alliance was actually um, uh, was a was a. A disaster. So, but Mr. Jayasekhar, <coughs> now all of these alliances are being formed according to what uh, the members of these alliances say based on policy. Mm. So, my question to you is how can an alliance that is based strongly on policy just crumble around in a few days? Was it really based on policy? <coughs> yeah, this is that actually 
what happened to the helicopter lines is something else. Hmm. An unbelievable thing happened. But the problem is um, alliances, when, when parties got, get together, they have some uh, good policies because they have their own, you know, uh, initiatives for everything. Hmm. And that is, that is when, that went off very well for last so many years that we have hmm. discussed. Uh, and sometimes uh, they have formulated the policy and ultimately what will happen is the president of the uh, uh, alliance, hmm. uh, he is thinking another uh, kind of a you know, policy. So, sometimes the alliance policies are the person who has appointed and uh, elected hmm. is uh, different. Somewhat, somewhat different. Hmm. So, um, that, is, that is what you have mentioned. But in this, uh, the helicopter, helicopter is not a... What really uh, happened there, Mr. Jaisai? No, actually, after we have formed uh, Helicopter Alliance and um, the two days after, 12th, I think, uh, 12th, yes, 12th, uh, the, you know, Easter bomb attack uh, case uh, decision was came in. Okay. And my uh, leader was, uh, you know, being named as, you know, one of uh, the... The persons who yeah, have to pay compensation. Yeah, compensation. So, after that, uh, there were some issues with, you know, when you, your leader, so-called leader is being attacked by, you know, the, uh, the topmost... Uh, um, when he's been found yeah, yeah, uh, guilty uh, for certain court, misconduct. The topmost court of the uh, country, there will be a problem. Hmm. So, out of that, uh, the alliance uh, leaders, some alliance leaders and came to him and said that you take a step back and, hmm. you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go forward. Okay. And, uh, so that is how it uh, happens, hmm. and it affects uh, to the leader of our party uh, immensely. And uh, he thought that, uh, you know, now when you start this party, when you go out, go as an alliance, you need me. Hmm. And after that, you know, as soon as the case, uh, the the order came uh, in, now you want you to are, distance you, yourself you, yeah. from me. So that is what he thought. Um, I I don't think that is not a uh, bad. Uh, uh, thing that he has done, but what happened was on the other day he uh, said that uh, we are going out of the Lines. helicopter, right? So it shouldn't be done because um, if the, uh, the election is going to be here uh, announced next next week, mm -hmm. still the alliance is uh, on. So you you can't go out of uh, that alliance. The alliance, yes. You have, you have given all the nominations from that alliance. So you have to ask people to vote for the helicopter. <laughs> yeah, in helicopter areas. So how can you? So, what will happen to our party, uh, people who have contested under, under the uh, helicopter? So, hmm. what will happen? So, that is why I said it, is, it shouldn't be done, that kind hmm. of a thing. But, uh, unfortunately, it happened. Hmm. Uh, uh, I, that is why I said uh, the election is still on, hmm. but the dates are not fixed. Hmm. Right? So, till you cancel the nominations, hmm. uh, how many years, I don't know. Uh, still the nominations are valid. So, Mr. Jaisekara, with so much infighting going on, not only in the SLFP, but in the SLPP, um, cert to a certain degree the <coughs> UNP, um, there are those who defected from the SJP as well. Um, do you think that any members of these parties can really go to the people and say, look here, uh, trust us, we've got good policies, we've got a good plan, uh, vote for us and we will secure your future? How can they say that? when they can't even manage their own party. Do you think anyone can say that? You are very true uh, in that because uh, you must have a party consensus first. Hmm. You don't have my, you, 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 there are so many internal uh, crises, but hmm. normally it doesn't erupt, erupt hmm. like, you know, uh, like this. That is what uh, I thought. Every party, not in Sri Lanka, every party in, in the world as well, hmm. There are so many crises and in, internal uh, issues are there, mm. but when they come into the, you know, uh, platform to the mm. people, they normally come with a common uh, mm. agenda, common, uh, uh, you know, uh, these things. But uh, here in Sri Lanka, uh, with all these issues, internal issues, uh, have shown that uh, to the people that, as you said, uh, how can you come and uh, say us, tell us, what to do, go and uh, discuss within your party all the issues that you have, hmm. right? So, that is, that is a uh, real uh, situation. Do you think, have, like, um, agreed, do you you think the ego of a lot of politicians or leaders, let's say, 
played a huge role in in these crises yeah egoistic issue is a uh, uh, politicians uh, themselves are taking from their uh, beginning sometimes mm. but uh, you know uh, but when you work in a party there are so many differences uh, in within party stalwarts and you know the other people as well mm. but you have to uh, calm down all the all the issues that you have mm. and uh, get together and uh, come to a common ground but uh, sometimes uh, ego is a huge issue hmm. uh when you do politics so also mr Jai, uh, mr jayasekar now <coughs> speaking of um policies and the faith that the people have uh in political parties in the political system of sri lanka um it's taken a huge blow uh initially because of the economic crisis and of the massive promises that were given to the people and how hard their lives have become since the realities of the world really uh, started hitting them uh, somewhere around last year uh, but also because political parties with completely different ideologies political parties who at one point stood up on one side of the floor and said those members of those parties are thieves and the other side stood up and said no you are the thieves are now sitting together and they are praising each other so for a person who is who is a member of the general public and who is who is looking at this they are the ones who are suffering in the end i mean the only thing that they could think about is what a joke now that is a, not a joke but the problem is the reality in parliament <coughs> uh, you can see that uh, when ranil vikram singh was in the opposition hmm sjb was uh, uh, in the opposition we were in the government and uh, you know with uh, a huge issue issue that we have discussed for last uh, one 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 years back uh, what happened to the country uh, 42 members in the government came out from the government hmm. and went to the opposition in that moment uh, what happened was actually uh, uh people the, the parliamentary you know, uh, process parliament process was in a uh, dilemma and after that we have uh, point uh, appointed uh, ryan lickum singh from the opposition as mm. a president mm. so he was uh, very critical on rajapaksas mm. as you said he also said that these fellows are thieves, thieves. and you know in 2015 to 2019 mm. uh they were you know have been arrested and they were been uh, you know named as thieves and put all the cases in uh, hmm. courts hmm. ultimately what happened was with this crisis ranil vikram singh was appointed by all the thieves that they have uh, he has criticized hmm. and now he has to be in with uh, all the thieves so i think it is it is the, that that the problem was actually the legitimacy hmm. of the Uh, government that we have appointed hmm. and actually what we should have done is to dissolve the parliament without the legitimacy as we s- discuss and have a press election but uh, with the constitution you know that after two and a half years time hmm. uh, the president has the power to dissolve, dissolve parliament, parliament but he didn't but he didn't do that hmm. i don't know whether he's going to do that in the future as well hmm. uh, so that is what has happened so all the political system has been you know change uh, with with this crisis hmm. earlier it was not like that because <clears throat> all the opposition people they said you are the you are the uh, people who have robbed the country and all kind of things hmm. but we didn't uh, we never thought that hmm. the people who accuse uh been ele- elected as uh, president of uh, the thieves have been elected uh that kind of a person to their uh, president so based on what you are you're telling me mr jay saker it almost seems as if uh, sri lanka is <coughs> now being led by um because people leveled allegations that others were thieves they leveled they leveled <coughs> allegations saying that they were thieves uh, so out of the group that's really governing our country everybody is either a liar <coughs> or a thief Uh, well that's the situation that we find our country in today thank you very much uh, mrs asad jai saker for joining us uh, on our program and speaking about of course the crises within these political parties and within the entire country as a whole uh, we will continue to monitor the situation closely thank you very much for tuning into newsline until we meet again take care and god bless